Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is another Wednesday in October. How is your month going so far? I feel like this month is actually going by quite fast. And especially for it to be like a full month, a 31 day month, it's going by pretty fast. Like already this week for me, like I can't believe it's towards the end of this week. <laughs> but that is a good reminder to enjoy each day to the best. Don't focus on the negatives, focus on the positives. Surround yourself with people you love and with people who love you and who truly care about your well being. So, today's video is going to be uh, about something big. But before that, I just want to say hello and welcome to new viewers. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. I post videos on the law, on law school, and big things that's going on in my life. And I also like to put, uh, post challenge videos and prank videos. I'll put the link in the description below so you can go ahead and click on it and laugh out loud. Literally, laugh out loud. <laughs> So in today's video, also you guys don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button because I have some great content and some even more awesome content coming. I have some more challenges planned. I have some more pranks planned. Watch out, Nathan, AKA my husband. <laughs> so I have some awesome, awesome informative videos planned um, about law school and the law. So hit that subscribe button. I will give you five seconds, five, four three two one did you hit subscribe okay i'm gonna trust that you did <laughs> okay you guys so let's get right into today's video so today's video as you can tell by the title i will be answering a very common question that a lot of pre-law students have and law students have and just like the common man just the common man and this is definitely a question i had during all stages of my law career when I was like pre-law when I was in college when I was in law school I had this question constantly in my mind and I am going to tell you the answer through my experience in this video so are you ready okay so the big question do you have to go to a top tier law school in order to be successful as a lawyer here is my truthful, a thousand percent truthful answer and I'm learning this from experience and I'm learning this from seeing those around me and those who have gone ahead of me. The answer to this question is absolutely a thousand percent no. I'm curious, are you surprised by the answer? Comment down below what if you, if you think yes or if you think no and also why. But let me tell you why. I believe a thousand percent that you do not need to go to a top tier law school in order to be successful as a lawyer. So, you know, we all have different meanings for success, but success for me is making your dreams a reality. And so my dream has always been, was always, has, was always was, what am I saying? My dream has always been to become a lawyer and to help those with their problems and to help them with the problem they're dealing with or help them prevent from getting into trouble. Um, that was always my dream. And so to be able to be living that, that is a success for me. Now, there are other people who believe a successful law career is measured by money. And so for those who have that kind of definition of success, I st my answer still stays the same, that no, you do not need to go to a top tier law school to be a successful lawyer. And the reason why I believe so is, or why I know so, is because of my personal experience, which I will talk about, but I'll first talk about the, the people who I know, the people who have walked this walk ahead of me. So I know quite a few people, not just in Boston, but also in Illinois, who have gone to law schools, not anything like no top schools, no like Harvard, no, n they're definitely not top schools, but they're state schools. They're either state schools or they're just local law schools within that state. I know 
so many lawyers who've gone to like a you know a mediocre law school um with no ranking really and they've made it so big so for example i know plenty of lawyers in boston um those who i've worked for those who i didn't work for but i just knew through relationships who went through a, who went to law school like you know maybe that state school or like a local law school in that state and they ventured off and they opened up their own law firm and they started their own law firm in an area of law which they were they are extremely passionate about and these attorneys who i know they actually all started their practice in a different area of law which is crazy so one attorney that i worked for has his law focused on bankruptcy law Another has his law firm focused on personal injury law and medical malpractice. Another one has his law firm focused on immigration. You know, so it's just like these attorneys, what I noticed is that they started their own business and they pursued their passion, their area of law that they're so passionate about. And you guys, I cannot express enough how happy they are and how well they're doing, how big their company is growing they're to the point where they can hire more people and they're constantly growing their business and clients are walking through the door every single day so when i first hand see this like i see this with my very own eyes i was there i was in their offices i can tell you a thousand percent these that these attorneys they didn't go to harvard they didn't go to you know whatever like stanford law they didn't go to any of these top tier law schools they're just like you and me or who knows maybe you did go to harvard or something but they're just like me you know i did not go to a top tier law school okay so those um like that's what i've seen with other attorneys and their experiences um firsthand so now i want to talk about my experiences um, and how, you know, it's true. I didn't go to a top tier law school. I actually applied only to one law school and I told my parents if I get accepted, I'm going. And that's exactly what happened. Um, there's a whole story behind why I just applied to one law school. If you want to hear that story, comment down below. And I'm happy to post a video on my huge, huge, huge transition in life. But Anyway, um, yeah, so I applied to this one law school, Massachusetts School of Law. I went, and it's not like any high top tier law school, nowhere near Harvard, but even though it's still in Massachusetts. Um, but, you know, I one of the reasons why I decided to apply to that school is because I looked at the graduates, the alumni who went to the school, and there were senators on there. There were senators on there. There were successful attorneys who started their own practice and other attorneys who are now on like big panels and big organizations so i was like you know what this school seems great and i ended up being right because the school is great like i mean it's a really really good school for like affordability wise flexibility wise and with um with the education um our professors went to harvard law school so that was great. <laughs> so even if we didn't go to Harvard Law School, we were taught by professors who went to Harvard Law School, which is like a win-win situation. Um, but the reason why I'm telling you all this is because is to just give you the point that no, I did not go to a top law school, but when I see the alumni who went to the, my school, like it's just so motivating and it gives you hope and it reassures you that don't stress out, don't worry, don't overwhelm yourself unnecessarily and think, oh, I didn't get into a big law school, so I'm gonna be a mediocre lawyer. Not at all. My philosophy is that the kind of lawyer you want to be, it begins with you. So if you want to, if your definition of success is, you know, having so much money, making a lot of money, growing my firm, whatever, whatever, you can be that lawyer. If you want to be the lawyer who helps so many clients, has such a big client base, um, who like represents their clients ethically, you can be that lawyer. But if you want to be a lawyer who's mediocre, who's, you know, always thinks, you know, who always feels sorry for yourself thinking, you know, I didn't go to a big law school, so, 
you know, my life isn't worthy of being like a top-notch lawyer, then that's going to be your life. Don't don't fall into that trap, I'm telling you. You guys, because whatever your dreams are, you can make it happen. And it doesn't matter your circumstances. You can make it work. You will meet the right people. Get out there, meet the right people. And I truly believe that you will meet the right people at the right time to help you fulfill your dreams. Okay, so this is kind of like a like a myth or truth video slash motivational video, I feel. So I hope this video helped. Comment down below what your thoughts are on this video and comment down below what other questions you have related to the law, you know, whether it's law school or, you know, life after law school. Um, comment down below and I'm so happy to answer your questions. Um, and once again, thank you so much for watching my video, for listening to what I have to say and my thoughts and my experiences. It means so much to me and I hope that me sharing my experiences and my opinions and my answers uh, gives you a good perspective on um, certain topics. So, you know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button um, for more informative, truthful videos like this. You guys know, any anything I answer to in my videos, it's 100% coming from the heart. I'm not giving you any, like, any false information to please anybody, no. These, everything I say, everything I answer, it's from my own personal experiences and it's it's the truth so once again thank you so much for watching my video for clicking my video for supporting my channel my supporters you guys have no idea how much you mean to me like i am just so thankful for you that's all i can say so i hope you have a beautiful beautiful rest of your week if you're thinking about law school definitely research the school you're going to you know like i said many times before only you know the life you want to live so definitely make sure the school that you're going to or that you are in matches up with your plans that you have for yourself and you are good to go so i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day as always, stay happy, stay positive, stay safe, um, stay grateful. Always stay grateful for this life and everything we have, okay? So, uh, have a beautiful, beautiful week, okay, you guys? Until then, I will see you next time. Bye!